In this video, we will discuss certain important and interesting things about enzymes in junk milk. The first is most of the enzymes they are secreted in their inactive forms. So inactive enzymes are known as proenzyme or they are also called zymogens and there are different reasons why these enzymes are produced in their inactive form. For example, pepsin. Pepsin is a proteolytic enzyme, it digests proteins and it's a strong enzyme and it is going to digest protein. Our stomach lining is also made up of uh, plasma membrane which is made up of proteins and phospholipids. If these enzymes like pepsin are secreted in their active state and we don't have food to be acted upon, then this pepsin will start eating or digesting the stomach wall. So it is secreted in the form of an inactive enzyme that is pepsinogen. Whenever food comes into the stomach, that is the time when this pepsinogen is converted into active pepsin. So such inactive enzymes, they are known as proenzymes or zymogens. The second important thing is, there are certain enzymes or molecules which have slightly different molecular structure, but they act on same reaction. They are called isoenzymes or isozymes. Isoenzymes or isozyme. These molecules, they have slightly different molecular structure but act on same reaction or help in same catalytic reaction act on same reaction or product example is lactic dehydrogenase lactic dehydrogenase there are five different types of enzymes which are helping in this reaction. The reaction is pyruvic acid is getting converted into lactic acid and this is the enzyme which helps. But there are five different types of lactic dehydrogenases which can help in the same reaction to take place. Such type of enzymes or those same group is known as isoenzymes or isozymes. Next important thing, uh, we can talk about rennet tablets here. Rennet tablets. These actually are obtained from calf's stomach. We have uh, talked of renin which helps in curdling of milk. So what exactly renin does, it changes milk into a solidified structure which is called the curd. Rennet tablets, they are used for cheese making or curdling of milk. Now what exactly is this rennet? What is secreted in the stomach of calves? In stomach of calves, there is a complex which is secreted. It is known as rennet. This rennet has many enzymes. It has one that is renin. It also has protein digesting enzymes, so protease. It also has chymosin. So there are different types of enzymes which are present together and that complete secretion is known as rennet. So this rennet is extracted from calf's stomach and it is commercially used for cheese making. Commercially used for cheese making. Nowadays, they are also talking about vegetable uh, rennet tablets. But this is the original one. That is the rennet complete gastric juice which comprises of multiple enzymes out of which these three are the most important ones that is extracted from the calf stomach and it is converted into tablet form. 
When we add that tablet into milk, the curdling would take place and it would help in cheese making. So this is how on commercial scale, cheese making process is done. Next important num or term which we use is known as turnover number. Turnover number in case of an enzyme. The definition is, it is, this turnover number is the number of substrate molecules acted upon by one enzyme molecule in a minute. That is known as a turnover number for carbonic anhydrase. This number is 6 million. So this is the fastest enzyme. Now as we are talking about carbonic anhydrase, we will talk about four different types of enzymes. That is fastest enzyme, slowest one, slowest enzyme, largest enzyme and smallest enzymes. Fastest enzyme is carbonic anhydrase. Carbonic anhydrase. And it helps in formation of carbonic acid as well as breakdown of carbonic acid. Slowest is lysozyme. Lysozyme is present in our saliva, tears. It is a bactericidal enzyme. Largest is catalase. It is found in peroxisomes. And the smallest is peroxidase or sometimes it is also known as oxidase. It is also found in peroxisomes. So these four names are again very important according to the rate that is how fast they are. So fastest, slowest and the size wise, the largest and the smallest enzymes. So these are certain important things and interesting things about the enzymes. Uh, inactive ones, proenzymes, many enzymes, they are slightly different in their molecular structure, but they help in the same reaction. They are called isozymes. We took one example. Rennet tablets, which are obtained from the calf's stomach secretion, that is pretty, uh, pretty much the gastric juice. Turnover number, again the definition and these four names of the enzymes. With this, we have completed the chapter of enzymes. So the important terms which we have to remember, inactive enzymes called proenzymes or zymogens, isozymes or isoenzymes, similar uh, reaction or similar type of uh, reaction they would catalyze, but there is a slight difference in their molecular structure. Rennet tablets which are obtained from the gastric juice of calves. Turnover number that is how many substrate molecules are acted upon by the enzymes. Like we have taken the example of carbonic anhydrase. Sorry, here it should be 36 million and carbonic anhydrase. P R A S E. So carbonic anhydrase has the highest turnover number and that is why it is the fastest enzyme. The slowest we have written lysozyme which is a bactericidal, largest catalase and smallest is oxidase. With this, sorry oxidase or peroxidase. With this we have completed the enzyme part also and which is actually included in the biomolecules chapter. So our chapter of biomolecules which includes this enzyme also is now complete.